And hello, Doris and Mr. Bible. Hello. And hello, Larry. And Sue, so guess what? What, Jo? We have been playing one of Larry's most favourite ever games. That is. Hide and seek. Do you like playing hide and seek at home, boys? Such a good game. And girls. And girls. Forgot the girls. <laughs> How could I? Anyway, so we've been hiding and, Harry and Larry hid. And do you know what, boys and girls? He hid so well, didn't you, Larry, that I couldn't find him. And he was hiding for such a long time. And he hid in a place that was very, very dark. And do you know what? He got very scared and he got very frightened, didn't you, Larry? And in the end, he had to call out to me and I found him, I ran and I found him and he was so upset. I had to give him a big hug to make it all better. And I've come to the conclusion, everybody, it's a really good game if you can be found. But if you're never found, it's not so good or so much fun, is it, Larry? Oh, well, Jo, I think our story today is a little bit about hiding and being very scared. Ooh. So, but it's also about listening to and trusting God. Oh. So shall we have a look at our wall for some clues? So we can see <gasps> lots of flames and fire and lots of are they trumpets and jars of clay. Oh. I wonder what our story is. Well, I'm not too sure. So why don't we listen to the story in a minute and find out? So let's say our rhyme together, everybody. It's time to listen. It's time to see. It's time for our Bible story to help you and to me. So let's shout for Mr. Bible. Mr. Bible. Mr. Bible. And what are your really special words for our ears to listen to today? The Lord is with you, brave and mighty man. The Lord is with you, brave and mighty man. Hmm. I wonder who he is this time. So let's listen to our story today. Gideon was a farmer and the people of Israel were hiding. They hid in caves, they hid in the hills, they were hiding from the men on camels. The men on camels came riding into the promised land from beyond the river, the Jordan River, they took away the sheep. They took away the cows. They trampled on the corn as soon as it was planted. Why did God let them? God still loved the people of Israel, but they had broken their promise to love him and to live as he wants. The people of Israel had no wool. They had no milk. They had no bread. They were afraid of the men on camels. There were too many of them to count. Help, help, please help us, they cried to God. And God answered them. You have broken your promise, God said. Yet now that you are in trouble, you still want me to help. And I will help because I still love you. God went to find Farmer Gideon. He was hiding in a wine press in the grapes. I have a special job for you, God said. You must rescue my people from those men on camels. But I can't fight them. I'm a farmer, not a soldier. You can help if I help you, God said. The men on camels came riding in again from beyond the river, the Jordan River, too many of them to count. Then Father Gideon blew a long blast on his trumpet. Ta-ra, ta-ra, ta-ra! He was calling for help. And the men came running. Too many, God said. Tell the ones who are scared 
to go home. Still too many, God said as Gideon watched them go. Take the ones who are left to the stream to drink. The ones I want will cup their hands and lap like dogs. That way they can keep a lookout for danger. The rest can go home. That left just 300 men to fight the men on camels, who were far too many to count. That night, God said to Gideon, get up, it's time to go. Gideon gave every man a trumpet. He gave every man a flaming torch and a jar to hide in. All was quiet. They crept up close to the men on camels who were still fast asleep. Now Gideon's men were all around their camp. What was that terrible noise in the quiet night? Gideon's men were blowing their trumpets. What was that blaze of light in the dark? Gideon's men had broken the jars that hid their flaming torches. The men on camels woke up in a fright. They were so scared and they leapt on their camels and fled. Mr Bible, could you remind us of God's special words this week? The Lord is with you, brave and mighty man. Oh, Larry, wasn't that a good story? Gideon was scared just like you were when you hid in the dark and couldn't be found. But God promised to Gideon that he would be with him and he told him that he was a mighty man, a mighty soldier. And you know, with God's help, even though Midian thought he was really small and was really scared, he was able to defeat an army of 32,000 men. So many men with God's help. They didn't fight with weapons just like last week. All they had were jars made of clay and flames of fire. But those Midians became very scared and ran away because God was with Gideon. Now, why don't we go and see what Maisie has been making this week? Hello Trinity Tots, my name is Maisie. My name is Ellie. And today we have been learning all about Gideon. So today we are going to be making... Torches. Excellent, can you turn it around the other way so everyone can see? Good girl. So for this craft we are going to need some paper or card, some scissors, some tubes and some things to decorate our tubes with so we're going to be using paint sticks but you can use whatever you would like at home what else do we need Erin what's our last thing we need hey good girl so now we've got everything we need let's get started so the first thing we are going to do is decorate hey, our tubes girls we've done some fantastic tubes so now our next step is we've drawn some flames out onto some paper and now we're going to color in our flames with some orange can you hold up your flames there we go so we're going to color in our flames next fantastic boys and girls so we should have something that looks like this now we're going to use our scissors and cut out our flames but you may need a grown-up's help for this bit So we've done a fantastic job cutting out our flames. Now we're at our last step, so all we're going to do is stick our flames inside of our tubes. You may need a grown-up's help for this bit. We've done it boys and girls, we have made our very own torches. We've had so much fun making craft with you today and we can't wait to see you soon. Bye! Bye! Thank you, Maisie. They were fabulous torches. 
and I hope you have fun boys and girls at home making those. Why don't we sing a song again? And I wondered whether we should sing what we sang last week. My God, he's so big, because he was so big and mighty in this story of Gideon again. Let's sing it. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. That was a good workout today. Oh, quite exhausting, so quite exhausting. Let's ask Mr. Bible one last time what his very special words were for our ears to listen to today. The Lord is with you, brave and mighty man. Shall we say a prayer together? Thank you, God, that you are always with us even when we're scared. Thank you that we can trust you to always help us so that we never need to feel uh, afraid because you are our big, strong and mighty God. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, this is our last Trinity Tots until September. <gasps> we're so sad. So we need to say, Sue, a few happy birthdays. Oh, should we have our hats? Let's, Let's get our, our hats. hats on. Right, here we go. Here we go. So that said, big, big happy birthday to all the following boys and girls who've got their birthdays in August. So happy birthday to Sammy Whisker. To Hannah Cummins Bruce. To Abby Whisker. And to Zach Burgess. Happy birthday, everybody. Now, Happy. we hope you have a fabulous summertime. Enjoy the sun and the sun and the summer and the pools and the water and the sand and the grass. Have a fabulous time. See you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.